Hey guys, this one is for the kids. Are you going crazy? I feel like I'm going crazy a little bit, being cooped up in the house a little too much. So I thought maybe we could do something today and I thought maybe we could draw some pictures together. It's something that I like to do. I've liked to do that since I was a little boy. When my dad first showed me how to draw pictures, um, I think I was four or five and we were sitting on the kitchen floor and he drew a picture for me. And I've liked to do that ever since. And so when I get ready to draw, I like to have a few things with me. You're gonna need things like probably if you have colored pencils, this is good. This is my tin of colored pencils. I'll show you what that looks like on the inside. It looks like that, sorry for the glare, okay? And there's actually three trays underneath that. That's a lot of colored pencils, 72 of them, okay? I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to use those today, but, because I'm drawing on the computer, but that's one thing. And then also you might want to have a little pad of paper, okay? because you gotta have something to draw on. Don't draw on the walls or your parents will go crazy. So you wanna draw on a piece of paper. Let me show you a couple of my drawings. There's a, and you don't even have to have a good reason to draw things. You just can draw them because you want to practice. So here's a picture of a hand that I drew. You can see that, okay? Here's a picture of a little hipster guy with uh, weights and little glasses there. I don't know why I drew that, just just wanted to, just for fun. And then one of the things I've been doing lately, I don't know why, but I've always had a fascination with tree houses. And so I drew this tree house, I thought I might draw that. And I did all of that with colored pencil. So you can do stuff like that too. Just takes a little bit of practice, okay? So the more you practice, the better you get. There's a couple other things I like to have when I'm drawing. And maybe you can ask your mom and dad if you can have some of these too. Okay, these are little candy bars. All right, this is a good bar. And I like to have my soda with me or a drink of any kind. Maybe you don't like soda, maybe you just want some water or something else. So that is it. When I was a little boy, there used to be this TV show called, I think it was called Come and Draw With Me or Simon. Anyway, it looked a little bit like this. I'll show you what that looks like here, okay? Yeah, and he lived in the land of drawings and some other things and he would draw stuff and you could follow along. It was fun. All right, so maybe we could do something like this. So I'm gonna move this screen over here. My eyes are following it, boom. All right, and then <clears throat> I'm gonna share my other screen with you so that you can see where we're going with all this. So I said you can pretty much draw anything. And what I thought maybe we could draw today is a baseball player. So, well, you're using your paper and pencil. I'm gonna use this because this program will help me to draw and be able to put it on video a little bit easier. So I'm gonna draw a circle. Okay, let me come back and draw that again. You might have to do this a few times just to get it the way you want it. I'm trying to get my circle like that, more like an oval. Oval is just a circle that one uh, side is a little bit longer than the other. Okay, we need to, let's put the baseball up here. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. So now we wanna, we wanna draw this arm and what we're gonna do is because it's, he's throwing the baseball, we wanna come down in a curve like that. And then we're gonna go down on this other side. Okay, then I want you to just draw what looks like a bell, okay, right here. This is gonna be his baseball glove. It looks kind of like a bell. Okay, don't worry about making it look like a baseball glove yet. We'll come back and we'll do that a little bit later. Okay, this guy is getting ready to throw a baseball. And then we wanna draw his body here. So this is his arm, this is his other arm. If you're left-handed, I'm sorry, this is a right-handed guy. Okay, let's draw his body and we're gonna make this guy look like he's had a few too many um a few too many candy bars okay all right there we go okay so we want a leg going out like this he's got a he's got to put his leg out and there's his foot and he's got another leg right here but this leg is bent up if you know anything about um baseball when you throw the baseball one leg you have to kind of kick up and then you push off with this leg right here and then you throw it when you follow through your uh, 
all of your weight goes into making that ball fly really fast. Okay, so we've got that. So I'm not really loving this leg, but that's okay. Doesn't have to be perfect at this point. We're kind of just putting this all together. Let's look at where we want his face. I think I want his face right down here. He's really bearing down on that batter. Looking, looking him down. Okay, let's uh, let's give him a cartoony nose. That looks a little bit like my nose. I'm gonna. That looks like a boxer nose. See, you can do all kinds of things here. That looks like my nose a little bit too. I just can't seem to do it. Okay. All right, that's pretty good. I like that. And then this is his lip. And we're gonna go out like that. And guess what? He's sticking his tongue out because sometimes when you're concentrating, you stick your tongue out. Are you starting to see it come together here? All right, we wanna put his eyes right here. His eyebrows are furled, not because he's mad. He's really concentrating. He wants to throw this ball just right and get the guy. Okay, let's put an ear right here. Okay, I like to just draw a little part of a circle, another circle inside that, and another circle like that. And that's an ear, okay? Okay, let's get his, uh, we gotta get his bottom here. And his leg is kicking up, so let's kinda draw that out and make that look better. These are just shapes right now, we're not really worried about it. It kind of looks like chicken legs, doesn't it? It does to me. And then we need a kneecap right there, a kneecap right there. Let's draw this with his elbow. There's the shoulder. And then we'll draw that on around. Okay, we got his baseball glove here. I'm going to extend this on down a little bit. Okay, put some fingers on this. We need his index finger to be right there. That's his middle finger. These other fingers are kind of tucked behind the ball because they, uh, they don't really go on the ball like that. There's his thumb, okay? And then we need to draw the rest of his hand here. There we go, kind of looks funny. Maybe we'll work on that a little bit later. All right, so um, let's pick up here in his hip area. And let's make his foot a little bit better. We want to stick that foot out. Let's make the shoe kind of pointy like a baseball cleat. All right, there's that. And then this shoe over here. And I'll tell you something about baseball cleats in just a moment. Okay, that's okay. It kind of fixed it for me. I wish it hadn't. Maybe I can do that again without this here. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm liking it. His ankles are a little bit too skinny here, so we'll have to make some adjustments on that. All right. So here, let's uh, connect his sleeves. All right, then I'm gonna draw the rest of his sleeve right here. Okay. And another one over here, we're gonna put it almost to the elbow. And that one doesn't have to have the opening because it's facing away from us. This one does. <coughs> All right, so here we go. Let's put a baseball cap on this guy because he's playing baseball after all. We'll go back. I just want this to have nice, smooth lines. He can do that with lots of uh, practice and lots of erasing. But just for time, I'm going to do it this way. I want to draw his cap like that. Okay. So he's really focusing on what he's doing there. Make that connect. We need to make this connect. Okay. Let's put his waistband right here. Baseball players gotta have a waistband. They gotta have a belt. All right, so I'm going to draw over this. So I want to do that because okay. Can you start to see this guy 
coming. We need to have his foot on the mounds here. They've got this little dirt hill that the pitcher stands on, okay? And at the top of it, it's got this little rubber strip that's a little bit thick. And that's called the, well, they call it the rubber actually, the mound. And then there's dirt. And when they push off, they kind of push down and they're throwing down on people, all right? Let's work on his glove a little bit. I think what we need to do is we need to, to go. So I've got my eraser out, I'm erasing a little bit. I told you, make it look like a bell. Now we're gonna work on it a little bit. Okay, so that bell shape is still there. But let's, uh, let's do this. Let's make it more like a cone here. All right, and then we wanna draw fingers. These gloves have fingers, even though it just looks like one weird big piece. There's fingers in there. Okay, and then usually on the baseball gloves that I've had, there's this little strip where you can see your, you can see your hand. And if you're a real good baseball player, normally what you wanna do is you wanna have one of your fingers out because that gives more protection against the baseball hurting it. Because this finger, when the ball hits the glove, when you catch, sometimes it hurts because it's right there. So we're gonna let him put his finger out like a, like a big leaguer, okay? All right, so we're doing pretty good here, I think. On top of these hats sometimes, there's a little button. Have you seen that before on top of a hat? Okay, then we wanna put these little, there's, they build these hats with panels. So there's a panel here and a panel here. All right, so he kinda looks like a ballerina here. We wanna make sure his uh, shoes have laces. Boy, that looks even more like a ballerina, doesn't it? Okay, draw that. All right, on the bottom of these shoes, there's cleats, okay? Cleats are like little spikes that go into the dirt and help you to get grip. Okay, sometimes they have cleats that look a little bit like that. We're not too worried about it, just we want it to kind of look like that. Okay, so there we go. That's good, that's good so far. All right, why don't we give this guy some hair? I'm gonna make his hair like uh, uh, Mr. Zach one time had some big hair. I'm gonna make it kind of like Mr. Zach's hair. In fact, I think we might, uh, we might make this really big, like he's got it jammed up under a hat. I think you're gonna like this guy. Why don't we name this guy? I'd be interested to in know what you would name him. I know what I would name him. Let's call him, um, well, there used to be this baseball player uh, back in the day called Raleigh Fingers. And there was another guy named Oil Can Boyd. They had all kinds of funny names. We're gonna just uh, give this guy a little bit more of an angry eyebrow. Okay, he's not mad. In fact, he's a really nice guy. But here, we're making him look a little bit on the angry side. Okay. All right, let's fade this out a little bit. I can do this. You can do this with eraser. You can just fade it a little bit. And so, like, if you erase just a little bit, it'll fade. Watch this. It's fading a little bit. So if you just run your eraser over a little bit, that's what it would do. So now we've got, we've erased it a little bit. You just drew on there with pencil. So you can just erase it enough to kind of see what you're drawing. What I like to do when I'm coloring um, colored pencils, I like to start on the edges. Watch, just watch. Okay, I'm gonna color on the edges. It's a little bit dark. I always leave these edges darker. That's gonna come back and help us, and I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. Okay, around his nose, around his nose. Do, do, do. Boy, that doesn't look so great. But now I'm gonna come in with a little bit lighter color and just sort of blend this together. You can do that with colored pencil. They, they blend each other. That's the nice thing. And you can actually use lighter colors on top of darker colors and it'll help. Okay. Doesn't look too great, but I'm gonna, if I know anything about this, I know that in, in time, if you keep working at it, it will come out 
the way that you want it. I kind of got outside the lines there. You would think after all these years, tomorrow I, I'm going to be 44, and you would think after all these years of drawing that I would know how to keep it inside the lines, but it's hard. And so you got to practice a lot. All right. So we're going to come back. We're going to blend with this. Got a different colored pencil here. Let's actually come in with a white. So if you have a white colored pencil, this would be a good place to use that. This white colored pencil just to take away some of that that darkness that's in there. Okay. You know when you use your white colored pencil on places like around the nose. Alright, it's blending little bit. Some of this is going to really come out in time. I think we should come in here with like a pink. So you notice this color right up here? That's kind of the color I'm using. So we're going to come in and put a little pink in here. It's going to look really bright, but if you just go easy, kind of fade it a little bit in, it'll be all right. Let's draw around our nose. Just come in, highlight some different areas. You want to highlight around the nose, cheeks. Okay, maybe a little bit along there. And uh, just really kind of blend that together. Let's see if we can add some more color here. Okay, I'm starting to, starting to see it. Let's add some darker tones in here so that we can Maybe if you got a light brown, this color, it's almost a latte. I don't know if your crayons or colored pencils have latte, but a light color. We come in there, we're gonna add some shading. There needs to be shading underneath the bill of his hat. Don't worry about his eyes. We're gonna come back and uh, redo those in just a minute. We'll, we'll make them darker. A little shading right here. Okay, that's okay. All right, let's uh, put some hair color on this guy, like Mr. Zach's hair that he one time had. All right, yes, sweet. I'm loving it. Okay, cool, that's good. All right, let's uh, come back here add some depth to our drawing. All right, I think we can all do this. Oops, we can all do this, I think so, if you just practice. Okay, and then right here, we wanna get that eyebrow. Get his eyes right next to that eyebrow, right next to it, okay? He's looking. Hey, we need to come back and deal with his ears a little bit. So I like to put a little shading right there. We need to do it on the outside. Okay, don't be afraid to make a solid line around this. You can start to see his face coming together here. Okay. There's his chin, he's got his tongue out. Okay, and of course if he's got red hair, he's gonna have red eyebrows. We should have saved our red color. Now I gotta find it again. If you have colored pencils, that's no problem because your colored pencils are saved already. But I have to, have to find my colors and drag them down. So let's give him uh, angry eyebrows. Even though he's not mad, he's just concentrating. Okay, I think that's good. I think it's real good. All right, happy with that. Now with his tongue, we want to do this, probably red here, kind of a pinkish red. Okay, and then we want to just kind of do some lines like that, just real soft. Okay, then we want to come back in since we've got that color come in with a little bit lighter color like this. 
I'm going to leave a glare. See, there's three different um, kind of shades. There's highlights, then there's the color, midtones, and then your shadows. So three different colors we want here as part of this. I think I think if you practice, I think you could do this. This is not hard. You got your circle, you got a circle here, circle here, and then a bell, remember, and some lines. And this is just kind of a weird looking circle shape to start off with. All right, and then these are kind of circles or ovals right here. All right, and then uh, of course there, okay. So we got something going on, but I wanted to see his face a little bit. I think uh, on this guy, I think we're gonna put him in, uh, I think we ought to put him in a, a blue uniform, I think would be best. Let's get a nice blue, uh, not a Yankee blue, let's do like a royal blue, I think that'd be good. Okay, so we're gonna come up here and uh, Outline his hat. Okay, outline that. Whoops, made a mistake. Let's go back here. I'm gonna erase. Okay, just go there because this is the bill of his hat. Didn't like that. And I don't know if you knew this or not, but they intentionally color the underside of hats green or gray because they're soothing to the eyes. They don't ever make the bottom side of hats red because that would, red has some kind of different, makes you stressed out a little bit more when you look at it. I don't know why that is. All right, baseball cap. Coming back here. Let's get our colored pencil in here and let's uh, do some some coloring. All right. Whoops. Did you see that? I just got some over here. The nice thing about colored pencils is you can also erase them. Try to do better here. This doesn't... That colored pencil doesn't look too good. I'm going to go back to this one. And sometimes you can even use markers. Like I think there's a marker in here, not that one. That might be good. Maybe it's this one. No, it's not that. Maybe here. Use markers. Okay, it's kind of coming together. Can you use your imagination a little bit, kind of see it? Okay, we're gonna blend that a little bit. And I think the way we'll do it is with this other colored pencil. It'll help us blend. Okay. All right, there's his hat. Okay, I think we'll come back in on his uniform, and I think his uniform is going to be white, but his hat's going to be this color blue. And so I want to add some, remember how I said there's, um, there's mid-tones. That means your, this color like this right here, that's your mid-tone, okay? So now we want to add some darker colors to it, and I'm going to get a darker blue, and I'm going to come in and do some shading with this and this is going to make it really look like it's three-dimensional okay it's you know three-dimensional is that means it it stands out like it's in real life and not just on paper all right we want to just come in here and just give it some highlights or some 
I was shit shading. You're always gonna see those three, those three kind of tones to every color in real life. You're gonna see the highlights, the mid mid tones. and then your shadows. So I'm just coloring this right here. All right, let's go in and kind of blend it. Remember how we did that with the Kleenex? Let's go in and kind of blend it there. Okay, hey, now we're not done yet because look, remember there was three things that you want to see. What was the other thing? Anybody remember? It's the highlights. So I want to come in and highlight these portions here. And I'm using a real light color. Look, see where my cursor is right here? And this is the color right up here. This is going to be your highlights. And so see how that kind of pops out. I want to get this real thin colored pencil right here because. And the neat thing about colored pencils is you can draw right over the top of the other colors. All right, we're gonna leave that ball up there white. I think that's kind of neat. Okay, so underneath the hat, because this is blue, let's just use a gray right down there at the bottom. Okay, you can't see it all that well, but let's just use a gray. Okay, so now you notice that now this is dark, his skin doesn't look really, before it just kind of looked like maybe it was too much, but now, it looks pretty good, I think. I'm going to come in and blend some light tones here. Okay, cheeks, nose. Okay, but right up here we need some darker. So let's see if we can find something like if you have a darker tone, like maybe a like that latte we talked about. Okay, you can come up here again and just hit this again because look. Now it looks like this hat is really covering, is shadowing his face right here. Okay. All right, good, 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 good. I think it's good. Okay, his uniform is gonna be white. So what we need to do there is we need to, actually, let's do his arms because they're the same color as his face. So let's start with your, this is gonna be your mid-tones here. Okay. It's color, color, color. I'll probably fast forward some of this. Color, 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 color. Okay, just start at the edges and work in. Start at the edges and work in. Because it naturally creates shadows and highlights when you do it that way. I don't like the way this is shaped, so I'm gonna reshape it a little bit. That's a little bit better. Okay. Yeah. Okay, look at that. Okay, work towards the center, but leave a little bit of a gap. The reason for that is because you want those highlights. Okay, this is his hand, so we want to go ahead and color part of that. Okay, we'll put some orange in there too. To... That's not orange, but I'm getting out of my lines. I don't like what I'm doing here. Let's see if we can draw this. The nice thing about a piece of paper versus drawing a computer is that you can turn your paper, and I think you can do it on here too. Let me see. There we go. Okay, I like it. I know it looks a little bright right now, but we're gonna come in here and just do some shadowing. Okay, that's the shadow on his skin. Okay, here too. Shadow, shadow, shadow. See how it's starting to look like a little bit of skin there? He looks kind of red, like he's sunburned, but let's come back and color right over this again and see if we can get blend this a little bit 
That's what we really want to do is just blend it. Okay, blending is when you are mixing colors. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. I like it. Now we need some highlights, remember? And actually, I think a better highlight is gonna be this yellow color. see if maybe maybe we can find a colored pencil this color okay so see that color it's almost white but it's almost a little pink too just want to hit one edge with that okay get closer to one edge than the other and so you can get um, Make this a little bit darker. All right, I'm happy with it. We'll blend it some more. It'll it'll look a little different when we put our outline on this thing. Okay. Drawing, 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 drawing. Okay, the good thing is, we're really almost done with our skin for now. Let's get right in there with that, yeah. Get on this hand. Draw around the edges, remember? Have that baseball, draw around the edges. You don't have to draw fingernails. Do you know that? You can if you want. It's It might be fine, but you may just want to do that at the end when we do our outline. Okay. Okay. Let's come in and we've done this kind of, so let's just give it a little more. A little more. Just draw, I'm just drawing circles in there. Okay. Come back with a lighter color. Fill in the middle. Okay, and then the lightest of all. Remember to get one side of this. Just kind of on one side. Make sure it's the same side on all of them. All right, looks good. Now, I'm gonna come back and whatever that is, hit this edge of this hand right here. Yeah. That's okay. I'll tell you who's really good. If you know who Miss Renee is, she's a really good artist. She could probably do this a lot quicker than me. And better. Miss Leah is a pretty good artist, too. I think she specializes more in real stuff. I don't like to do real stuff because real stuff, you have to get all the proportions right. When you're drawing cartoons, you can kind of just make it however you want. So that's why I like to do that. Those are really good. You can do it the other way. Okay. Okay, we need to blend this a little bit. So I'm going to come back with our other colored pencil. All right. I think that's all right. Okay, now let's draw his uniform because it's going to be white. The way we shadow white is with light blue. I don't know why that is, but it puts off this light blue color. And anytime you're drawing shadows or edges on white, you want to do it with a light blue. Okay, look, this guy, he doesn't, he's not in great shape. And you know what I found out is you don't have to be in great shape to be a baseball player. I think it helps some, but you ever notice that like Babe Ruth, he just looks like a big middle-aged guy. 
he doesn't look like a superb athlete. And yet, uh, we always think of Babe Ruth as one of the greats. All right, let's uh, shadow in here. I'm going slow, I'm sorry. Shadow in here, we're gonna give this guy some socks and pants. We're not gonna make him a modern baseball player. We're gonna make him more of like a classic baseball player, one of the older, older guys. And I'll show you what that means in just a moment. They used to wear their uniforms a little bit different than they do now. Now they like to wear their pants almost all the way down to their shoes. And I don't know if they wear stirrups anymore. Back in the day, they used to wear stirrups. I think I'll show you what those look like in order to hold their socks up. But I don't have to do that anymore. All right, let's kind of blend here. Let's blend. Boom. You got this. Uh, maybe you got your... Try not to use the same part that you used before because you'll get the old colors on there. You want to use a new part. Okay. See how that's just blending? We're just kind of blending together. Okay. You want to make the part thicker where it's going to, you know, it's kind of in the shade a little bit, like under his arm. It doesn't get a lot of sun right there. So that gets more, that gets more color under his belly here. Yeah. Under his legs. The inside of his legs right there, right here, underneath his bottom, like his bottom and underneath his leg. Okay, that's going to get more. Okay, so let's let's deal with his shoes a little bit. We're going to make these shoes. Uh, they ought to be blue, I think. They ought to be like a this color blue. Let's get our colored pencil here. Come around. I'm just going to draw that. Oh. That's okay. I'm going to use this little cheater method here. Okay, remember, shadows are the dark part, midtones are the average color, and then there's highlights. I'm sabotaging my own self with the cheater method here. Let's do this. Okay, goody. I like it. It's blue. I actually think he ought to have black shoes. I've changed my mind. Let's start with the gray. That's kind of your mid-tone. Yeah, I'm just going right over the top. Okay, right over the top here. Okay, look at that toe. See, I'm kind of leaving it. That's because we want that to shine the light. We want that to be the highlight. All right, this shoe, let's outline it, boom, boom. We'll come back and put those laces in later. Okay, one of these edges is getting a shadow and the other one is gonna get a highlight. I'm gonna say this inside part of his shoe gets the shadow. Okay, I'm gonna blend this, remember? Kleenex. Okay, so we need, uh, we need our mid-tone, which is this, and a highlight. I'm gonna use this little thin pencil here to do that. Okay, beauty. Look at that. We're just adding the highlights to that. I know this doesn't look like much, but let's come back with another uh, pencil here and let's do a white line to separate the sole of the shoe. See that? That's this part right down here, which I think what we'll do there is let's just do this in kind of a, a gray. And we're just going to do this with lines. Sometimes you can just shadow with lines like this, especially when you're doing cartoons. Okay. And around, let's make the shoe more definite here. Okay. I'm not gonna color this in too much here. Just let the shadow suggest itself. How about some shoelaces? I think it's a good idea. I think they ought to be black. Okay, 
There's one hoop. There's another. Here's the shoestring. There's one hoop. There's another shoestring. All right, that's all we need for that. Uh, get that darkened up there. Let's do our shoelaces just like this. This will make it easy instead of crisscrossing. You can crisscross. These look a little bit like bowling shoes, but I like bowling shoes. I wish they were fashionable to wear. I'd like to wear bowling shoes. Okay. I suppose I could do it anyway. Okay, why don't we come in here just with our regular pencil color? And uh, a lot of times baseball jerseys button up. I don't know if you knew that, but the jersey is the, the uniform. So they button up. So let's just to make that line go all the way. Let's just put it there. That suggests there's a line there. That's where he buttons. Okay, button here, button here. I want to keep them about equal space apart. I know those aren't exactly equal. That's okay. All right. So there's another thing that we need to mention here that baseball uniforms a lot of times have stripes on them. Okay, so uh, sometimes they have pen stripes, and sometimes they have like a thicker trim stripe on the shoulders, on the pant legs, and I'll show you what that looks like. We're gonna come in and get our color again that kind of matches this hat. And we're gonna come down here like this. Then because there's wrinkles, we're gonna do one of those, and then it's gonna come up again along the side of the leg. Okay, you got that? And then our pants are gonna end right here. And in fact, we're gonna make it a little bit thick right there. That's the end of the pant. That that stripe also comes down the side all the way to the end of the pants. Kind of like if you've ever seen a Marine officer or a police uniform, sometimes they have a stripe pant, a trim that goes down the edge. You can't see it on this side except for a little bit. So we'll put it right there, but we'll not worry so much about this. But we do need to show where these pants end, and that's right there. Okay. We'll come back and clean this up a little bit here in just a moment. Okay. We also need to have stripes, or I think we do, on this uniform right here. And I think there needs to be a trim around the sleeve. Yeah, just like that. And uh, right here, uh, yeah. it looked better for a little straighter. You can go back and erase, but I'm going to just use my cheat button so that we can save some time. Okay. There we go. And the sleeve trim. All right, these buttons are gonna be white. That's gonna be blue. I think we're gonna make this guy have some pinstripes though. Oh, let's do this first. Okay, so I want you to remember I said there's some stirrups. In the old days, what they used to do is they used to have these things that go on top of their socks, okay? They look a little bit like this. Go down the sides and at the top, get that thing off. They cover the whole calf up here. All right. Okay, we're just going to fill this in. Remember, in a moment, we'll have highlights, shadows, and midtones. Now, you don't have to go to all that trouble on cartoons. You don't have to shadow them, actually. But it's kind of nice. Makes them look a little bit better. Okay, on this side, let's see, we want to come down about the same amount as on the other. I'm going to blend these with my blender. My blender, and your blender is your tissue paper. Remember, my blender is this other colored pencil. Oh, I got outside the lines. Okay, let's make this line a little more solid here. We're gonna cover some of this stuff up with our 
uh, outlining. But we want to come back in and give it some highlights here, like right in here. Okay, just a little bit. That's probably not the exact right color, but I'm going with it. And then you want to give it some deep tones back here with that darker color. Okay, look at that. Okay, I think that's a beaut. Let's um, remember one thing that baseball players, a lot of times their pants have belts. So his pant line is right up here. What we need to do is make room for the belt loops. Also have a belt right there. I'm not loving it, but I thought it would be good to have a belt in here. Okay. One thing about baseballs, you'll remember, is that baseballs have stitches on them. They stitch, there's two pieces that go together that they stitch together. And so um, we want to make sure we do that. Let's uh, come in here with these stitches. And I'm just going to do one line. You can't do it the other way. But because this is a cartoon, I'm not so worried about it. OK, remember, our baseball is white. So we want to come in with these uh, the edges like this so that we can show a little bit of shadow here. Okay. The bottom gets more shadow. The top just has to have a little bit of an edge. All right. Now it looks like that blue is really dark, but once we um, once we get into the uh, the outlining, it's not going to look so dark. Okay, I think that's pretty good for now. Let's get a little bit of uh, shadow down here on his uh, heavy brow. All right, we're going to connect those eyes with that. And just put the suggestion there. He is bearing down on that dude. I don't know what he's getting, but I think it's the fastball. Okay. All right, let's put some shadow in here. Here we're going to get some gray shadow. And remember that underneath the arm, the closer it is to the arm, gets more shadow. Okay, I'm going to just touch up the undersides of this with a gray. I think it'll help. Okay, you know what we haven't done yet is our baseball glove. I'm going to save some of this other stuff for later. Let's take a look at our baseball glove here. So our baseball glove has a lot of different colors in it. And you can do any color you want. They have black baseball gloves, blue ones, uh, kind of a tan or British tan, they call it. Um, almost any color, red gloves, you can get them in almost any color. And probably if you're in the, the big leagues, you can get whatever color you want because you can afford it because they pay lots of money for people to play baseball. I'm going to do mine in a traditional tan. Actually, you know what? There's a really beautiful um, kind of reddish brown. I don't even know what they call that. We're going to do it that color because I've never done that before. Yeah. I like this one. This is a good color. Okay, remember, we're doing our, our shadows and then we'll do our midtones and highlights. I'm just kind of outlining this glove here. Remember, there's fingers. This is kind of a strap that holds your hand in. Get your arm in there. We can add some detail to this when we do the uh, outlining. But uh, let's get our blender up in there. Okay, yeah, I'm just filling that in. You can do that with your colored pencil. In fact, I probably should just so we can look at it and see what it's going to look like. Colored pencil. Yeah, 
usually we have a logo right here. So I'm going to leave room for that because I think that's kind of fun. Okay. I want these fingers to extend down. All right. I usually like doing these gloves. All right, let's try. Just filling this in. We'll come back and hit it up with some other stuff. Okay, it doesn't quite look like the color I wanted, but we can fix that. Okay, remember on colored pencils, you can draw right over the top of the other colored pencils. But we're kind of in the ballpark, so we want to add a little bit of brown here. I think we'll do that with this. This will be our uh, this will be our shadow tone. Fast forward through some of this when it comes time to edit this so you can get through it. Yeah, I like, I'm starting to like that color. Okay, coming back in. Let's hit the dark spots here. And then we'll come back in and hit that light spot. Help us to get it all covered. Beauty. Baseball gloves, especially pitcher's gloves, they usually weave the whole uh, pocket. They call this the pocket. They usually weave the whole thing. That way you can't tell what kind of pitch he's getting ready to throw. Because in there they have different ways of throwing pitches and uh, depend on how you hold the ball. All right, so we want to do a, a different tone on these. and We just want to get something lighter. Let's get uh, some highlights in here. Uh, we need more of this though. Blending, 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 blending with my Kleenex if you got one or your toilet paper. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, once again, um, maybe this is the brown you use here. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. I got outside the lines though, dude. Check that out. There we go. There, that's getting close to the glove color I wanted. I'm going to do an actual race on this just because I want to show you what that looks like. Can't erase that yet. I will, though. Okay. Cleaning it up. Cleaning it up. Clean this up a little bit. Okay. Beauty. Like it. Like it. Now let's get some highlights on this this guy. Okay, since it's a red, our highlights are going to be somewhere in the red tone. So if you can find a colored pencil of this color, maybe that's the one you need. Let's look at what it looks like. Mm, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Okay. I'm going with it. But sometimes they have these little lines that are along the baseball glove that are a lot lighter. So let's find something like that and maybe we can just draw right along the fingertip, right along the finger. Okay, and then one right up here. And then we're going to do that because we want to show how there's some webbing in here. Oh, I like that glove. Wish I had one that color. I'm going to get a dark color and just kind of go through this a little bit. Hit it. Get it some deeper tones. I know this is probably more complicated than you want to spin on a baseball glove, but a good baseball glove is a thing of beauty. I think Joe Cosienda would agree. Nice baseball glove. He's a baseball fan. I don't. Phil Pinkelman's, but Mr. Phil's a baseball fan too. But I don't know of a lot of baseball fans. Maybe Keith Bailey. I don't know. But I'm liking this. I think we need to go around it with some deep, 
highlights like or deep shadow deep shadow no this Yeah, most of our, most guys are basketball fans or football fans. Excuse me. You won't get coronavirus just watching this video. All right, that looks that looks pretty good as far as I'm concerned. I think some highlights, more highlights would do better. We could spend, I could spend a lot of time on this. I'm not going to, but I could. Just the more um, of this you put in, the more depth it gives it. Look at that. It starts to come alive and look like a baseball glove. All right, we're gonna end with that, okay. Let me get that finger to stand out a little bit. It kind of got lost in the mix here, so let's get his finger out. He's got it in the middle of that. That's his finger right there. He's got his finger out. And the reason is, like I said earlier, because these guys don't want to, when the baseball hits, sometimes it hits kind of hard and you want to get your hand out of the way. And so when your finger is outside the glove like that, what happens is it adds a little bit more padding to it. Fun, huh? All right, dark tones here. Just a little bit to give some more depth. A little bit here. All right, I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to feel this. I wasn't before. Wasn't sure. There's always that moment of uncertainty when you start a drawing, if it's going to turn out the way that you'd hoped. And if you keep working on it, a lot of times you gain something, even if it's not, it doesn't turn out exactly how you want it. You learn something when you draw. And it's kind of that way when you're serving God is that if you keep getting up and serving him, that sometimes you, you don't, you, you don't serve him the way that you'd hoped and you fail. Maybe you're supposed to do something and you fail at doing it. But if you keep getting up, God can help us to be better and to grow, and that's what life's about, right? When we learn how to talk, we don't know how to say all the words right, and we still learn, even when we're adults, we sometimes say things the wrong way, and we learn, and if we'll just keep getting up, we'll, uh, we'll get there. I'm uh, not too happy with this guy's face right now. He's looking a little bit too angry. We need to soften this up some, so let's pull those cheekbones back out. You can do that just by blending a lot of times. So we'll get our highlights back in there again and boom. But uh, we don't want to, uh, and let's get one on the chin. Okay. I think we're about ready to start drawing on this. Let's do our dirt mound though first. So this is our dirt mound. I'm just going to do this with the blender. No, that's not right. Let's do it with, let's do it with this. Okay, actually, okay, our dirt mound here. This isn't too important to me other than it just needs to be probably brown because there's dirt on it. Sometimes a little bit of a reddish brown. Oh, I think Miss George is a baseball fan too. She likes the Mariners. I think we want white for the, the this rubber part here. We'll just do that with this. Can remember when we shadow white? A lot of times we do it with this light blue. So let's pull this guy out here and 
here just to give it some shadow. Okay. Do you know that on black, a lot of times the glare shows a blue tone? I don't know why that is. I think it probably has something to do with the fact that it's really hard to get absolute black, but I'm not sure. Get up here. There we go. Miking it, miking it. Let's do some pinstripes on this guy. Okay, pinstripes are these little bitty stripes that go through a uniform that some teams have that look like this. Since this guy's got a little bit of a belly, you gotta follow his curves. And stripes they look nice no wonder so many teams have them okay and on his legs and pants they come too they go this way down the edge down the edge down the edge down the edge Okay, looking pretty good, I think. Okay, let's do the edge of this sock right here with white, or excuse me, light blue. This sock to the edge of it with light blue. Okay. Oh boy, I think we're ready. I think we ought to put some green for the, the baseball diamond on there. Don't you think so? I do. So this is the color green. Let's do this color green right here. It don't matter. Um, let's do this big use a hairbrush here on this because it doesn't matter. You can use anything. You don't even have to do this part. But I thought it might be nice to, especially under the shadow of this guy. Okay. It's our pitcher, he's throwing the baseball. Now here's what's gonna make it pop, is we're gonna do outlines. Okay, and I think what we'll do is we'll use this. This is more like a pen, and I wanna make it real thin, I think. Let's see what it looks like. That might be too thin. Let's go with a little bit thicker. That's pretty good. Didn't look too good. My rate, you can't erase with pen, but I have this drawing program that helps me. If you go real slow, a lot of times you can draw along the edges, you can follow the edges. Takes a little time. I don't like that one, so I get a do over. Okay, eyebrow. Boom. Eyes. Boom. Mm -hmm. Hey, look at this. See how the, it looked like those colors were really bold, but now they're not so bold. Okay, boom. And 
its tongue. You can leave that middle part undone. And you can also add a little shadow in there with your pen. Don't worry about connecting all these lines. That's the beauty of cartoons is that you're just suggesting the reality. You're not having to make the whole thing work. And I actually picked a, instead of an exact black, I picked a dark gray. Sometimes I think that looks better than black. Oops, a little too far. Be careful not to do that on your drawing when you're using real pen. Okay. See how that guy's got a little bit of a, a belly here? Like he's eating a little too much chocolate. Let's come in here and put his buttons to take that off. Yeah, like it. Okay, he's got a kneecap right there we want to show. Well, let's come up here with this leg. Sorry about that. Turn that thing off. Cleats over here. That's what they call these shoes, remember? And over here. I like to draw cartoons. I think it's fun. It's my favorite thing in drawing. Okay, baseball. Now, we probably should do something with this hair, I think. Probably just outline some of the curls rather than do the whole thing. And then up in here to get that in. Got some awesome hair. Let's hit those highlights. Let's get right along this band here. Good, good. Okay, let's get this arm. No, don't make that same mistake. If you kind of go slow, you can you can really do a lot. Let's get these. Boom. This. Sometimes I like to overdo it. So sometimes less is more. You can add little lines in here to help create accents and features, wrinkles. That'll work. Okay, baseball. Once again, don't worry about getting it perfect. This is cartooning. I usually like to add like the little wrinkles on the knuckles. I usually end up adding nails, fingernails. You don't have to do that. These guys are hidden behind the baseball, so all you're going to see is the wrinkles. I like to use my outliner to give some depth. Maybe he's got a little hair on his arms. See? We could have given him a big... Let's do that. Why don't we give him a mustache? He needs something up in there, doesn't he? Oh, I loved playing baseball in the summertime with my friends. 
We went swimming almost every day, but we played baseball in the morning when it was cool. And I'm liking this glove. I wish I could find one like that. Of course, I don't play much baseball anymore. I'm too busy studying the Bible and preaching, talking to people. So clean that up a little bit. And we did. All right. Let's see. Whoops, one color. Let's get back to that. Maybe a little black here. Uh, okay. We need a number, don't we? Sometimes they got their number right here. Sometimes it's right up here. Let's just, let's give them a red number. I think that'd be fun. And he's not, then I won't get accused of making him, this guy, a Kansas City Royal. I think we could probably just call him number five. Okay. They always have different kinds of numbers. So some of these numbers have little features to them. Some of them have, um, they're just very plain. I kind of like that one plain. I'm gonna go back, uh, make it. As a matter of fact, oh yeah, that's better. This guy's number five. Number five. I don't know if they like his number should be over here, but it's okay. It's just for fun. We're not designing uniforms. Maybe in the middle of this, since he's got some red on his uniform, he's got um, red in the middle of these stripes too. Yeah, he's starting to look like a cub. Never mind. Let's leave that off. We don't want to. We don't want him to be a Cub, even though there are some Cub fans out there. And I've got a good friend who's a Cub fan, but we're not going to give him the satisfaction of letting him see. All right, maybe a little bit of help with the shadow down here on this baseball. Fun. Let's put an A for Anchorage. What, what about that? I think that's fun. Or Alaska. Let's put an A for Alaska. Good, good. Okay, maybe we should do a white outline around that A real quick. Why not? All right. I'm liking it. Kind of. You never really feel like, most of the time you don't feel like, okay, I've knocked it out of the park. I don't. Anyway, I always want to do a little bit better. And uh, push yourself to do things that you think you can't and give it a try. I think it'd be good. And not only might it be good, but you might find that you can do more than you think you can if you just take a chance and Watching so I think some of you guys are going to draw some excellent baseball players. Maybe better than this one here. We don't really need that. What we do need is our mound. Um, we want our uh, this rubber that he's pushing up off of. They have to stand against that when they throw the baseball. I told you to go slow, and then I've. I sped way up. I need to do better. I need to follow my own advice. Okay. And then these cleats down here, we don't want to forget those. I 
We just need to, when we're done, we just need to sign our name, huh? I think we're done. I think we're done. I think we're probably as good as we're, I'm going to get it for now. Maybe on another drawing, we'll do a little bit better. I'm just adding a little shadow here for this guy. You can just add shadow with his lines if you like. We could do better on that. You know what? Down here, let's um, do something a little thicker, maybe like this with a little bit of shadow here. I don't like that. What I want is deeper shadow. No. Here we go. Oop, it's too much. Sometimes you can whoop, change the depth by how hard you press on the pencil. Look at that. If I press really hard, it does this. But since I'm pressing soft, it does it like that. Okay. Just adding a little depth here to the outside the lines again. See, 44, almost. While I'm doing this, it's almost 30 minutes from my birthday. Oh, we need to have a little shadow right here. Where's Ed's at? Don't we? I guess Ed creates a shadow. I do. I think it needs to be a little darker right up in there, including his hair. Just so we can look down. We probably went a little bit more difficult on this than I had planned. But at any point, if you want to stop, you can stop at any phase along here and just, you can draw your guy and just learn from some of the ways like how to shadow and highlights and all of that how to become a better artist at drawing right just touching up I always do this for a long time afterwards I wanted to make this red because there's a logo in here that's red let's do it with a paintbrush what do we do with a paintbrush there you go those who know baseball will know what that's all about Okay, let's see where we're at here. Done pretty good, I think. Oh, I got red still on my paintbrush. I need to come back to this color. I think I need something darker to catch the underside of this hair. Maybe like that. That'll be good. Yeah, see that? That's like your shadow tones. Oh, we were going to do a mustache real fast. Let's try that. Let's do a really funny mustache. Mustachio. What do you think? Yeah, I'm liking it. Yep, he looks a lot like uh, some of those baseball players of old. Some highlights on that mustache. Some highlights on this hair. Probably need a little bit of light, like this color maybe up on here. Yeah. Okay, I think it's time. I think it's time that we wrote our name on here. Write my name. Had fun. Thanks for hanging out with me. We'll see you next time.
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here I am. All right. I had lots of fun. I hope you did too.